we'll move on to Brazil. And we're going to hear from uh, about uh, Belo Horizonte. And uh, so we will hear from Karina Geds, who's the founder and the coordinator of, uh, of the project. Um, hi, everyone. Thank you for invited, inviting us to be here. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, the project that we run here in Brazil called Architecture in the Periphery that uh, started with my uh, my research in uh, architecture in my master's degrees in 2013 because I wanted to to understand why architecture is a, such a is, is a, a profession that is so connected to uh, privileged so social class here in Brazil and most of the people don't have access to it. Uh, it's something that we do uh, with uh, women that live in the peripheries of the, the city and they are building their, their own houses. We say that we gather and empower women for the independence of installing, reforming and building their own home promoting not only house improvements, but also women's self-esteem and confidence. So we work with the only house improvements. Sometimes the, the houses are so um, improvised that it's almost building a new home, but usually it's house improvements. We, we understand the house is much more than the, uh, the space that we're building it because it, it has a lot to do with the uh, access to rights, like the the right to, to have a place to live in, but also the right to access health or education, because you need to have an address to access all the, these things. And to women, this is even more um, important because usually they are the ones taking care of the children and the, the older people and everything. And uh, we, we, our work is based on the sharing the knowledge. So we, we don't give them uh, a project. We, we, we change, we exchange information with them. And the whole planning process is like a learning process because we want them to, to learn how to plan and how to, to do the whole thing because they can use this knowledge uh, later on and uh, not only at that specific moment. And also we, we, the autonomy of the, these participants is very important to us. So the whole process is also uh, open for them to to propose and to uh, conduct the the works that we're doing. It's also important that they participate. They really participate because then they are really engaged in the whole process. The context in which we work here in Brazil are occupations that usually uh, promoted by social movements here. So people are actually fighting for their rights, uh, basic rights, human rights. Here's a picture of Dandara, which is the first location we, we worked. So they start living in, under tents, improvised tents. And my engagement in this, in this process started when I started as an, as an architect to, to participate in the urban plannings of these occupations. And that's when I, I realized that women were usually very, very present and uh, they were the most of the, the people there because they, they are usually are really concerned about the, the place for the children to live and their family to live. They really are um, leading these movements. The Belo Horizonte, which is the city I live in, and here is the the the, the, the our ur urban planet center here. Uh, and this is the whole city and these pink dots is the three communities we, we're working in since uh, the project started. These communities, they had uh, an, an urban planning. So there were architects participating since the beginning. And the, the type of the houses, it's, it, as I said, it varies a lot because we have like really improvised houses or some houses that are already um, with the masonry, but they don't have any finishings or houses that are actually under construction. So what we do is every year we, we form small groups of women to that need these uh, home improvements. And we work with them throughout the year, the whole year, like with uh, constant meetings, usually weekly meetings. 
and each step of the planning of the houses, it's uh, it's a meeting. So it could be a project discussion, or it could be a class where they learn how to measure, how to draw, uh, how to calculate materials, and also about finances because they have to know if they have the money or how can they save money to do these things that they're planning. So we divide this this work in three stages. The first, the mobil mobilization of this group. So it's also meetings and, and conversations. And uh, we have the, the local assistants that are women that participated in the project and then they become our team members. They help make this bridge between the, the, the team and the, and the women in the community. And then when the, the planning stage starts is when we start, we start these meetings and the plannings of the, the improvements. So here is just a, an example. We always go to the community. So the meetings are always inside the, the communities. Here is like already a meeting of the planning stage where, where they're learning how to read a, an architectural plan so they can really understand the, the, the space and the, its possibilities. And it's also always in places um, in the, inside the houses or inside community centers, uh, schools, wherever we can do it inside the communities. And at the end of this planning stages, we also have the construction classes where they learn um, some construction services that they choose to learn. So we we can we try to bring together their their need to learn something with the necessity in the houses. So if someone needs to uh, put some finishings in their in their kitchen and someone needs to learn or wants to learn that so we bring this together and the the whole group goes and and learn and also contribute to one of the participants house when the planning is finished and they start uh, the, doing the constructions uh we do the monitoring uh going there and talking to them and also the the local agents help us with that too and we also have a, a small fund uh that we 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 can loan we loan to them with no with interest no fee if they to, to solve the most urgent uh issues and they they decide how they're gonna they're gonna pay it uh during the the planning meetings after they do the financial classes so they learn first about financial their finances and what they can pay and then they decide if they want it or not and we also do what we call muchirões which is um events where people gather together and uh, join in joint efforts in joint efforts to start the constructions in the participants houses and that's when people from outside the communities come and they they want to learn about our 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 process and they also contribute to the, the constructions and they also learn a lot um, inside these, these construction sites, which are very uh, uncommon for people who study architecture because it's uh, self, self building um, construction sites. Um, here is just an example of uh, Muchiran. We usually have the presence of women also, only women. Although it's open to anyone who wants to learn or, and contribute, and uh, this house it, it was partially improvised, so we we built it the two rooms in the front and also a bathroom that it, it didn't have a a bathroom. Here's the same uh, case: the, the house didn't have a bathroom. It was only a woman and her children, her child actually. Um, and we, we built it uh, we, here from the foundation. We started to build the bathroom and we didn't do the whole thing. Uh, we started it and and then she could manage with her, with the planning. Um, she could manage to, to hire someone to finish. Because uh, the idea is of the project is not that we built the, the houses, it's that they have the instruments and the knowledge to plan it, how it, it will be built, and to plan financially and also in everything, uh, how what they need to do now to achieve the house that they want. And here's just another example, before, here, and after. She's a cooker, so she built a big 
uh, kitchen in the front of our house. The thing that we most like to see in our job is when we see the, the other transformations, which, is, which are the inside transformations where the women themselves um, are, are changed. Here is Luciana. She said that if she changed the space I'm in, I'm changing too. I've also made some repairs on myself. So she says that she's a different woman. Adriana says that she felt I felt that I don't need to depend on others anymore, that I'm capable of doing what I want. So that's really important also when they say that, when they change from I can't, I, I'm not able to do it to I can, I don't need to wait for someone else to do that for me. And Ana Paula has, uh, says, it's amazing to see how I've changed, not just the hair, but as a woman. Today, I feel like I can do anything I want. So they even change physically, and I think they start to put themselves in the world, into the world as they really are, um, because they they now have access to to knowledges, and they they learn that they are able to do things, and they just didn't have access to the the, the knowledges. So today we we are a nonprofit organization uh, to to talk about the fundings. Uh, so we. We are working basically with um, donations from, from people that support um, our work and also with prizes and uh, funds. And that's, we're independent organizations. So we, we haven't ever received um, public um, finance, financing or these sort of things yet. I think that's it. Thank you, Karina. What an amazing initiative. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. So how long is the, is the whole process? Like from when, you know, from when you start, uh, you know, doing the, the, the education process and then the time that, uh, the women are actually, you know, like doing, uh, construction or building or renovation, like how long would typically, you know, would, would that process take? Uh, we say that it's, it's usually um, six months, uh, this planning process, but it varies a lot from each group. And this is what we do here in Belo Horizonte, because we do that, the program meeting weekly. Um, but we plan, when we plan a group, we plan throughout a year, because it, it varies a lot. And also the constructions are, are all, they also vary in their duration time. Uh, but when we do uh, this this work outside here, our, outside our our city, the city we live in, uh, we've we've done different models. So we've done in uh, São Paulo once, and it was like um, four months, but not weekly meetings. It, it, they were like uh, from two two weeks meetings, and uh, they were longer meetings. So we could we could like shorten the, the whole process. Mm -hmm. So that's, that, that must be like very resource intensive, like, and, and, and like, like people resource intensive to, to meet, uh, you know, regularly like that. So how, like how many, how many people, I, like, I know you were saying that, uh, you know, then the women, you know, they, then they they become the teachers uh, you know, once they, they learn the process. So I guess you're, you're just like gradually growing the, the capacity, uh, you know, so that you can go into more and more communities. Usually with a group, we have uh, an architect and also a, a student or an architect vo uh, volunteer. So um, every year we have a, a team of volunteers and, uh, and also the women that participate, then on the, the next group, they participate as a monitor, we call it, teaching the, also the, the women. Yeah, it's usually two to three um, team members that go to each um, meeting. When I was researching uh, all the different uh, communities that were presenting today, I, I just went in and, and, uh, and decided to donate uh, on a monthly basis because it's so inspiring, especially being a woman and you know, living in, in a house. And I, I need you to come and tell me how to, 
to teach me <laughs> <laughs> how to fix things in my house too. So it, it, you know, I could really relate to that. So it's, it's so amazing to see, uh, you know, women feeling empowered and, uh, and, and taking on these, you know, these construction projects. It's not just fixing something, you know, they're, they're building uh, and adding to their house and, uh, and changing their lives. That's, that's quite uh, commendable. So thank you for your work and thanks for sharing with us.